Battle scarred Bud Light crawling back to life, or at least attempting to, after the Dylan Mulvaney fiasco. Anheuser Busch now partnering with UFC in what's being described as the biggest sponsorship deal in sports history. So there it is. That's how they're trying to do it. And there's the announcement. Bud Light becoming the official beer sponsor of the Ultimate Fighting Championship as part of the, get this, six-year, nine-figure deal. The marriage reestablishing ties with the popular conservative American mixed martial arts promotion company. Bud Light licking its wounds after a tumultuous year since it partnered with transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney in what could only be described as a marketing nightmare for the company. The backlash alone cost Bud Light millions in profits and sent loyal customers right to competitors like Modelo and Coors. Recent data now showing Bud Light has under 9% share of the beer market. It's down from 12% right before that partnership launched. Yeah, it's a... Um I, I saw when I saw this news break, the first thing I thought, I'm like, wow, this is a this is a risk for for the UFC. You, you know, you could have there are hundreds and hundreds of beers to choose from uh, different distilleries that you can go with or breweries, excuse me, that you can go with. Um, but they chose to go with Anheuser-Busch, specifically Bud Light. Anheuser-Busch, as you know, makes a bunch of different beers, right? You could have picked any of them. Uh, but they obviously are choosing Bud Light for a very specific reason, um, seemingly wanting to help them get back to it. So the big question there is, can they do it? Either way, you got a six-year deal on your hands. This isn't, you know, like uh, someone maybe you're interested in, maybe you're not. You get involved and you're, you're dating them here, back and forth, doesn't work out. You break. It. No, no, you're in it to win it. You you're got six years it. ago. <laughs> this isn't going anywhere. You are with Bud Light. You better enjoy every minute of it. So everywhere you go now, if you see these fights, you're going to see Bud Light everywhere. Logos everywhere. Um, but does it work? I don't know. I mean, we've seen advertisements already during the NFL. And what I've noticed is that they tend to be just very sports focused. We're not sending out political statements. We're just we're showing the bar scene of people yeah. drinking the Bud Lights and cheering on their team. They're not yeah. taking a political stand, which is obviously different than if you're, you know, sending cans with the face of a transgender activist. Major move by UFC and Bud Light partnering up. Again, a six-year deal. UFC fans, though, they're loyal, so we'll see how that works out for you.